Dear friends, welcome to the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A. The theme of our reflection is, It was said to our ancestors, but I say this to you. Yes, the word of the Lord will always stay, though the other things will go. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until it is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to the men of old, you shall not kill, and whoever kills shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother shall be liable to the council. And whoever says, you fool, shall be liable to the hell of fire. So if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go first be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Make friends quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard and you be put in prison. Truly I say to you, you will never get out till you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and throw it away. It is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body go into hell. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of unchastity, makes her an adulteress and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to the men of old, You shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus did not come to wipe out the Old Testament as some people thought. Instead, Jesus came to fulfill the promises made by God in the Old Testament. Jesus gives the law a new interpretation introduced by the same words. You have heard that it was said, but I say this to you. You shall not kill. This condemns all types of murder, not only the physical killing. 
There are people we swore we would never talk to again. For us, it's as if they are dead. There are others whom we have judged and condemned. It is as if they do not exist anymore. Those we spoke ill of, those who have lost their joy in living because of us, these are all dead because of us, even though they are still alive physically. Jesus refers to a custom the Jews had. Before going to the temple to offer sacrifice, they went through a series of purifications. Jesus tells his disciples, it is not the body that must be pure, but the heart. For Christians, reconciliation replaces all the purifications demanded by the old law. Jesus goes on to speak about adultery. For Jews, that law only prohibited evil actions. For Jesus, this commandment goes deeper. How can we Christians think we are at peace with God just because we have kept our exploits secret? Jesus also spoke about divorce. Husband and wife may not separate. God's plan is that marriage should be indissoluble. However, we must not condemn those whose marriages have failed for various reasons. We should give them our love and encourage them to experience the unconditional love of the Father. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you who came to fulfill the law and not abolish it, Help us to live as people of love, love expressed even in our observance of the law. Forgive us for the times we were driven by selfish motives in implementing and observing laws. May all lawmakers have the good of people at heart. May they implement and promote laws that preserve promote and respect every human life and human dignity. Amen.